ever seen the movie my child is really an adult about a couple who adopt a child and turns out she kills every family member she goes to in different ways she's after the husband and once he rejects her they all have to die this case has been in the news for a while a true life story about an adoption that happened in the USA this is about two parents a new mom of Natalia Barnett the woman with dwarfism whose adopted parents have accused her of being a con artist is on the state's witness list in the case according to the court docs obtained exclusively by RadarOnline.com The documents filed on October the 7th in Tippecano County Indiana revealed a lengthy list of witnesses in the case against Michael and Christine Barnett who have been accused of abandoning Natalia. Along with several doctors, police officers and detectives, the state shared their witness list that included Cynthia Manns, the woman with whom Natalia is now living with, in Antoine Mains, Mans, how you say it, her preacher husband. Yeah, with her preacher husband. Cynthia and Antoine have taken Natalia in as parents and even tried to adopt her. But because her former adopted parents, the Burnett's, have her age legally changed to 22, they were denied the adoption by the courts. Yeah, well, that's strange because you can disown your adopted parents or your real parents and you can be adopted by another family no matter what age you are so anyway let's go on michael and christine barnett are facing felony abandonment charges in the case but they have both pleaded not guilty and insists natalia is not a child but an adult who scanned them into taking care of her. As Radar previously reported, Michael filed a motion with the court to unseal Natalia's medical records, and a closed hearing will be held on that issue on October the 15, 2019. That's coming up. Michael and Christine insist that Natalia is not a child and that that they abandoned so they didn't abandon her because she was a child they abandoned her because she was legally an adult of 22 years old but an adult who lied to them and posed as a child Michael's arresting affidavit filed in Tippecano County, Indiana on September the 11th and obtained by radar revealed that Ukrainian born Natalia claimed she lived with the Barnett's for two years after they adopted her in 2010 but they left her in the apartment alone in 2012 the couple told Daily Mail TV that Natalia was a con woman 
who was not a young child but a woman over the age of 20 that was threatening physical violence against their family. But the officers investigating the situation found the young, the young person to be credible. Well, just remember guys, she is um, so mature for her age. She might be a dwarf, but the things she was doing and saying and the way she was acting, she didn't play with dolls. She didn't play with toys. She did adult, teenager towards, you know, adult things. She wanted to hang around with young girls, you know, teenagers, 15, 16, 17, 18, more her own age, you know, situations like that that they are claiming. And then at one point they said, you know, she had pubic hairs and for a young girl, there's no way. And she was having a period. Yeah, well, this could happen. It could, I guess, you know. Maybe she's very, very, very mature for her age. However, the affidavit believes Natalia Barnett to be reliable and credible and their statements were um, investigated by the police and this affidavit obtained by radar online um, Anna I can't pronounce her name Gather told the um, publication, I know exactly how old she is via a translator in southern Ukraine uh, near the Black Sea. I guess this is her natural born mother in Ukraine. She says she knows exactly how old she is. Now, this mother gave her up for adoption, but this child, or oh, this adult, <laughs> we don't know yet, ended up in the USA. So she has been over here a while. This family did not adopt her from their Ukraine. And this girl is my daughter, who was born six, years ago so now she's saying she's 16 years old now so she's not a child but a teenager now according to Gaia doctors told me to leave the baby leave her don't ruin your life they said both of them and my mom told me to leave her. This was because she had um, dwarfism, a disability. And over in Ukraine, you know, medical bills that she will need, the sickness they get, you know, um, treatments that they may have, it was going to be a burden on them. And I guess they thought she would get medical help for her condition and well-being then she or the family could give her I guess you know that's how a lot of people are over there and in poor countries you know poor neighborhoods uh, the mother described giving birth to her baby girl they said the baby would never be good that she would never be able to move, that she will be chained to a chair or a bed, she reportedly told the Daily Mail TV. She now lives in America with an adopted parents who want to ditch her. I thought everything was okay with her and it turned out that it's not okay. 
Okay. I'd just been told she was a six year old and it was very apparent she wasn't, Christine said. So when she went to, I don't know, the orphanage, wherever this child was at the time, um, that she, she was told she was six years old and that Natalia was a woman. She had periods. She had adult teeth. She never grew a single inch, which would happen even with a child with dwarfism. Hmm. Yeah, if you're six years old, you're gonna grow a little bit. Yeah, that is true. You are going to grow a tiny bit. Christine Barnett described the dark turn Natalia's behavior took, saying she would draw pictures of her killing the family members, then wrap the sketches up in blankets and bury them in the backyard. This is what the adoption adopted parents are saying the Barnett's I saw her putting putting chemicals bleach Windex something like that in my coffee and I asked her what are you doing she said I am trying to poison you Christine recalled other times Natalia would smear blood on the house mirrors, attack babies, and make death threats, claiming she was hearing voices. One day during 2012, a birthday outing, she tried to drag her adopted mother onto an electric fence. And Barnett's trial is scheduled to begin in early 2020. So guys, what do you think about this? This case in the news, uh, it's, I didn't think it was going to go to trial. These parents went to uh, Canada and apparently they abandoned a child. So people thought she was a child, but they said she, they legally had her aged um, put to 22. I don't know how that happened. Now there must have been some proof because doctors, there are doctors and witnesses in this case that said she is a woman. She has, you know, like maturity. Um, she's a woman. She acts like a woman. She acts very mature. But this reminds me of the movie I watched and this is real life. So they went to Canada and paid for her rent for one year. It's not like they left her with no money. They took care of her for one year. Like they said, like they did the other children. That's what they would do. You know, when they're old enough and they move out, they help them for one year. Something to that effect. And so her rent was paid for one year. I guess the money ran out. And, you know, this girl, this woman, this child, this adult took care of herself for a while. Now, since moving to Canada, I think they have separated or divorced right now. So I don't know if they're having a trial together or they're going to have separate trials. I think it might be separate trials. I'm not sure. Um, but this is called the case of Dwarf Con Woman's new mom and doctors will be called at witnesses in her abandonment trial. 
And of course, like I said, her adoptive parents claimed she scanned them and tried to harm them. Now, I don't know how hard it is for any doctor to scan and know how old this woman is, this child is. Does she look younger, a lot younger than she is? Does she act a lot younger than she is? No, she acts, she looks younger than she is, but she acts older than she is. Yes, she's pretty uh, uh, mature for being so young. I'm going back, you know, a little while ago now because this happened a while ago. So, what's going on here, guys? Let's have a discussion and your thoughts of this dwarf, child, woman, adult, con woman, con child. Is her real mother telling the truth too? We'll find out when doctors do a medical on her. Because you know, when you are a woman and you mature, we have hips, we have bones that grow when we mature because they are getting ready for, for you know, having children. So our hips grow and that's why we're curvy men's hips don't grow now I don't know if they'll be able to tell with her but I'm sure they'll be able to know how old she is come on with the technology we have these days now they said she's a con now to be a con you got to be pretty smart and mature you know to come up with the answers needed Mind you, I haven't heard her talk, so I don't really know how mature she is that way. You know, by looking at her and listening to her. But I'm sure we'll find out in the coming months, um, sometime early next year. So guys, leave your comments. Let's have a discussion on this one. Do you find it laughable, funny, you know, incredible? Did the parents really abandon her? But you know, they have court documents that say that she's not a child. So, you know how doctors are. One says this, one says that. We'll see guys. And don't forget to sub to my channel and press the notification bell to be notified on other videos that I upload. And thank you for stopping by.